Ever have a day where you don't quite feel like yourself? There might be a reason for that. Turns out that you are only about 10% yourself. The rest of the cells in your body, about 90% of them, are actually bacteria. Most good, some bad, and all with incredible power over who you are and how you feel. This is Microcosmic, a look at the universe inside our bodies. We all know about bad bacteria, the ones that stick to subway poles and bathroom counters and make us sick. But the bacterial colonies that live in and on our bodies, our microbiota, are mostly made up of the good bacteria. These either coexist inside us without causing harm, or they're probiotics, providing us with some benefit simply by keeping themselves alive. The MVPs include lactobacillus, which are found mostly in our mouths and our GI tract. They produce lactic acid as a byproduct, which has a pH lowering effect that makes these environments happier and healthier. Then there's the bacteroides that live in our guts and ferment the plant sugars we eat, which would otherwise be toxic in our colons. And finally, bifidobacterium. These are responsible for crowd control in our guts and in our mouths. The way they do this is by helping inhibit the growth of candida albicans, E. coli, and other bad bacteria. But where exactly do these and the approximately 50 trillion bugs in our bodies come from? Like our good looks and mild neuroses, we get them from our moms. As we make our exit through the birth canal, we're coated in our mom's microbiota. From there, as we grow and are impacted by health events, our microbiota keeps developing and more or less reaches adulthood by the time we are three years old. And this adult microbiota is packed with the potential to constantly affect our health and well-being, one way or another. Like the universe outside, this bacterial universe within us is complicated and wonderful in its correlations, causations, and coincidences. And the more scientists are finding out about the human microbiota, the more they're able to make connections between our bacteria and autism, mental illness, inflammatory diseases, cancers, and much more. These findings could forever change the way we explore medicine. But in the meantime, feel free to get your hands dirty. A little more bacteria might do you some good. Hey NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.